Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Sanch here. Welcome back to another episode of the Bodybuilding News Network. We are going to continue and hopefully uh, stop, end the conversation of nerve damage going on in the IFBB, or at least with Ian Valier, because he has he has posted his rebuttal to the rumors going on, pretty much saying, well, there's certainly a big difference between nerve damage and bad posing and flatness, something I completely agree with, something I talked about in our previous video, specifically for Ian Valier. I don't think it's nerve damage. I think it's bad posing. Look, continue reading. Looking back at this, uh, 272 pounds at four weeks out, glutes already tight with lines and fullness, muscularity, much better than what I displayed on stage. Leaves me curious to what it would look like going on stage much closer uh, to this look and weight chasing for a little extra glute and sacrificing this level of muscularity um, just can't be worth it with my physique I think exactly is that you know he might have chased it a little bit too hard the diet didn't work out maybe the diuretics just uh, didn't agree with him uh, and he came in flat he wasn't confident as you can see on his face right here in the posing he's shaking um, he does like a weird transition into a, a side chest. It just feels like he didn't know what he was doing. Um, I just think he was nervous and he was just not, he wasn't as peak and that caused him just to kind of, you know, free ball. It. And I believe I heard him talking about it on, uh, the, uh, Fuad podcast where he talked about, uh, he just, he just didn't hit it right. So, and we're going to see how he didn't hit it right. Exactly. This is going to be the big conversation is this lat spread right here. And if you can compare it to the Vancouver pro that he won just this year or last year, technically in 2022, you can clearly tell that there's no nerve damage. You, you don't muscle doesn't atrophy that quickly when you're at that caliber of an athlete. So again, uh, I want to emphasize, I do not think for Ian Valier, it is nerve damage. We will do more coverage talking about, um, Big Rami and potentially other competitors that are having uh, atrophy potentially in the triceps or in the lower back. Uh, we will talk about that in more videos. And if you want to see things like that, definitely let me know in the comment sections below. I'm trying to really tailor the content to you, the ladies and gentlemen, fans of bodybuilding moving forward, or at least in 2023. But uh, again, I don't think it's nerve damage. If you think it is, or potentially if you've heard something else besides, you know, what I'm putting out here on BNN, uh, please definitely let me know. But I think Ian has learned the lesson. I don't think he's going to try cutting down uh, and losing just a little bit more weight and bring a little bit better conditioning, uh, at least for his structure, his physique. Now, if he wants to try it out in a show in 2023, all the power to him. But uh, that's my thought on it. If you guys enjoyed the style of content, definitely consider subscribing, like, and comment what you want to see next on the channel. But I'm your host, as always, Josh Sanch. Thanks for watching BNN, and I'll see you guys in another one.